Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the U.S. Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Justin Sebrel. His Majesty expressed pride in Bahrain's leading achievement of winning the first category in the U.S. State Department's report on the classification of the most successful countries in combating trafficking in persons. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the U.S. State Department and the Labor Market Regulatory Authority and the National Committee to combat trafficking in persons. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain's success as the first country in the Middle East and North Africa to win this category reflects its commitment to international standards and underscores its participation with the international community in combating trafficking in persons and promoting human rights in light of the keenness to practice values based on the principles of respect, equality and justice. The ambassador presented to His Majesty a copy of the U.S. Department's report. His Majesty the King hailed the depth of the historic relations between Bahrain and the U.S., which are based on mutual respect and coordination to achieve the benefit of both countries, noting the development of these relations on all levels. His Majesty the King highlighted the role of the American administration in cooperating with friendly countries in consolidating security and stability and protecting peace in the region and affirmed the kingdom's support of these efforts. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Chairman of the International Confederation of Arab Trade Unions, ICATU Central Committee, Gebeli Mohammed Al Maraghi. His Majesty the King hailed such brotherly visits that contribute to developing cooperation fields and exchanging expertise between trade unions in the two countries to serve the labor sector and union calibers. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the brotherly relations between Bahrain and Egypt and the advanced levels it reached in many fields, hailing Egypt's honorable supporting stances to Bahrain under the leadership of President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the contributions of Egypt to supporting the development march in the kingdom during the past decades, hailing the continuous efforts of the Egyptian community and its contributions to various institutions in the country for many decades. His Majesty also commended the role of workers in Bahrain in the advancement of the country, affirming his trust in them for their expertise and competence in various production fields. His Majesty asserted that Egypt represents the strategic and safety weight in the Arab and Islamic nation for its leading historic stances in defending its causes. For his part, the chairman of ICATU Central Committee expressed thanks and gratitude to his Majesty the King for his continuous efforts to develop Bahraini-Egyptian relations and to strengthen cooperation in all fields. He praised the important achievements the Kingdom made under the leadership of His Majesty the King in the labor field as a result of the laws and legislation that organize production parties and enhance the labor market march in Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the sons of the late His Highness Sheikh Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, their Highnesses Abdullah bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Ibrahim bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Salman bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Majesty welcomed the sons of the late Sheikh, wishing them further progress and success. For their part, the sons of the late Sheikh Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for meeting with them, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace Royal Bahraini Air Force RBAF Commander Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and Lieutenant Colonel Rashid Khamis Al Zayani, who presented to His Majesty the book titled The First Pilot and the Royal Bahraini Air Force's Progress, which documents with photographs the role of His Majesty the King in developing the Royal Bahraini Air Force since its 
establishment and all the units of the Bahrain Defense Force. His Majesty commended the efforts of Lieutenant Colonel Rashid Al Zayani in writing his book, which documents the march of the RBAF, stating that it will be a new addition to the leading publications in the field of military. His Majesty praised the pioneering achievements of the RBAF since its establishment and the continuous development of the BDF. He expressed appreciation for the efforts exerted by the members of the RBAF and their discipline and efficiency, which reflects their readiness to perform their noble duty of maintaining the security of the homeland and its people. His Majesty wished all the BDF and RBAF affiliates success in their future missions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today the President of the General Federation of Egyptian Trade Unions, the GFETU, the Chairman of International Confederation of Arab Trade Unions Central Committee, Gibali Mohammed Al Maraghi. His Royal Highness called for the promotion of noble principles and Islamic values in international trade unions to preserve the rights of workers. He also stressed the importance importance of Arab coordination in international events to acquaint the world with the rights granted to Arab workers, guaranteed by governments through the establishment of an optimal work environment to preserve laborers' rights. For his part, Al Maraghi hailed His Royal Highness the Premier's wisdom, affirming that he is one of the historical leaders of the world. During the meeting, His Royal Highness noted the deep-rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and Egypt, which were built on a long history of understanding and cooperation. He also noted the strong coordination between the two countries, expressing his aspiration for these relations to benefit both countries and their people. He noted the strategic weight of Egypt, hailing its policies that protect the rights of all Arabs. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's support to Egypt, expressing appreciation for its support to Bahrain in all regional and international events. He hailed Egypt's efforts to consolidate cooperation, wishing the brotherly country and its people further progress and prosperity under the leadership of its president Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to further advance bilateral cooperation to achieve the common interests of the two countries. His Royal Highness noted the importance of intensifying such visits and meetings that would widen the horizon of constructive cooperation. The Prime Minister expressed appreciation for the contributions of the Egyptian community to Bahrain's business, production, educational and cultural sectors. He hailed the supportive stances of Egypt towards its brotherly Arab countries to maintain the region's security and stability. His Royal Highness commended the stances of the GFETU in support of the Kingdom on regional and international levels. He affirmed the importance of consolidating relations between trade unions in Arab countries to increase gains and enhance developmental efforts. For his part, Al Maraghi commended the keen interest of His Royal Highness the Premier in advancing the bilateral relations, praising his vision and wisdom. He hailed the historic relations between Bahrain and Egypt, noting the development of the kingdom on all levels and praising its pioneering experience in the labor sector.
the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the eighth session of the ministerial meeting of the China Arab Cooperation Forum, which started in Beijing today under the presidency of President Xi Jinping and in the presence of Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Subah. The minister has conveyed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's greetings and best wishes for good health and happiness to President Xi Jinping of the People's Republic of China. In his speech at the first session of the forum, the Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed that the forum, since its inception some 14 years ago, has achieved many important achievements that were reflective of the common political will of the Arab and Chinese sides. He noted both sides' determination to develop bilateral relations in order to achieve mutual interests in different areas without allowing political issues to be an obstacle to building strong foundations for bilateral cooperation and achieving the lofty joint goals. He added that the relations between Bahrain and China have always been close and witnessing constant progress at all levels. He added that relations have received a boost during the historic state visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to China in September 2013, which opened new cooperation horizons in political, economic, cultural fields and other he praised the important contents of the opening speech of the Chinese president, which laid out a comprehensive plan for the development of relations between the Arab countries and China and promoting the strategic partnership between the two sides based on comprehensive cooperation and common development for a better future. The minister also hailed the Kuwaiti emir's speech as reflective of the Arab position on the importance of developing Arab-Chinese relations and loaded the great efforts being exerted by the two sides to develop these relations in various fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs reiterated Bahrain's support to the Belt and Road Initiative of President Xi Jinping to revive the ancient Silk Road on both land and sea. He stated that Bahrain has expressed its willingness to join the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, referring to the Memorandum of Understanding he signed yesterday with State Councillor and Minister of Foreign Affairs of China, Wang Yi, on cooperation in the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. The eighth session of the ministerial meeting of the China Arab Cooperation Forum was held in Beijing, in which the Arab countries and the People's Republic of China condemned the terrorist acts against Bahrain, which claimed the lives of a number of innocent security men and civilians. The the Beijing Declaration affirmed full support for the measures taken by Bahrain to protect its security and stability and noted the Kingdom's inauguration of the King Hamad International Center for Peaceful Coexistence in March 2018. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Adil bin Ahmed Al Jubair, on the sidelines of the 8th session of the ministerial meeting of the China Arab States Cooperation Forum in Beijing, China. During the meeting, the brotherly relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia were reviewed, as well as the progress and prosperity of these relations at all levels. The meeting also discussed the latest developments in the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Yemen, Khalid Hussein Al Yamani, on the sidelines of the 8th Ministerial Meeting of the China Arab States Cooperation Forum in Beijing, China. Sheikh Khalid congratulated Mr. Khalid Al Yamani on his appointment as a Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Yemen, wishing him continued success. Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the brotherly and historic relations with Yemen, affirming the role of the kingdom and the brothers in Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates in supporting and establishing legitimacy in Yemen, as well as their efforts within the Arab coalition to support its legitimacy and achieve peace according to the Gulf Initiative and its mechanism, and the outcome of the National Dialogue and Security Council Resolution 2216-2015 
in a manner that preserves Yemen's unity and territorial integrity, prevents external interference in its affairs, and fulfills the aspirations of the brotherly Yemeni people for development and prosperity. Khalid Ali Mani praised the fraternal stances of Bahrain and its continuous support for Yemen at various levels, which affirms the depth of brotherly ties between the two countries and reflects the kingdom's strong policy of supporting brothers. It also embodies the important role played by Bahrain in the security and stability of the region, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the State Councillor and Foreign Minister of the People's Republic of China, Wang Yi, during his visit to the People's Republic of China. Sheikh Khalid underlined the historic relations between Bahrain and China and the continuous development of these relations, which reflect the keenness of the two countries' leaders to further advance cooperation at all levels, loading the active role played by China. China on the regional and international arenas and its keenness to coordinate efforts with Arab states on various issues of common concern. The foreign minister expressed hope for the success of the 8th ministerial meeting of the China-Arab States Cooperation Forum, which will be opened by the Chinese President Xi Jinping, and for the meeting to result in constructive relations between the Arab and Chinese sides on various levels. For his part, the Chinese official expressed China's pride in its strong friendship with Bahrain and its constant aspiration to open up new fields of joint cooperation, wishing the kingdom continued progress and prosperity. They discussed a number of issues related to strengthening ties between Bahrain and China and consulted on the most important regional and international issues and ways to establish security and peace. A mutual visa exemption agreement was signed for the holders of diplomatic, service and special passports, as well as a memorandum of understanding on cooperation with the framework of the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road Initiative. The Minister of Housing, Engineer Bassem Ben Yaqub Al Hamar, conducted an inspection visit today to Khalifa Town, in which he announced that the average completion rate in Khalifa Town amounted to 93% of the construction work and 65% of the infrastructure work for 1,105 housing units that are currently being implemented. He added that the Khalifa Town project is implemented in several stages where the completion rates of the the first phase ranged between 40% and 100%. The ministry is currently in the process of implementing the detailed designs for the other stages after the recent tender for the design of the future stages, noting that the city will accommodate 54,000 people by providing 6,000 housing units. The minister affirmed that this achievement is a result of the royal patronage of housing projects, especially the Khalifa Town project project and noted the royal visit to the southern governorate and naming the project Khalifa Town. He noted the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister of the project, which is one of the main programs to implement the government's work plan of building 25,000 housing units. He also noted the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to distribute the units of the first stage of the project. Al Hamar affirmed the ministry's keenness to continue its efforts in Khalifa Town and other new cities. The U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Iran and Iraq, Andrew Peake, who is on an official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, expressed his country's keenness to enhance cooperation and joint coordination in various issues in the region and affirmed the depth of the strategic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America, which are based on solid foundations. We have a tremendously strong relationship with Bahrain. Uh, it has perhaps gotten even stronger uh, as since May 8th, since we announced the withdrawal uh, from the JCPOA, and as we turn our attention fully to countering the threat Iran poses to the region. 
today with numerous uh, Bahraini officials, we discussed a range of ways uh, to counter that pressure, above all, ensuring uh, that Iran faces genuine diplomatic and economic consequences for the decisions it makes uh, with regards to its neighbors. This is such a beautiful country. Uh, I've really enjoyed my time uh, with the people here. I look forward to being back soon. I rarely have I uh, spoken with officials and friends uh, of another government with whom we see so closely eye to eye as we do here.